Today we will discuss the mastermind and most talented artist behind Manga Madara Nikita, also known as Deontay Art through an interview done by Yuri Osipov. This interview contains 27 questions through which we will be able to understand and get to know the beautiful talent behind one of the most famous Russian fan-made manga. Manga Madara Again guys, I was the one who translated the interview. There isn't any official translation out yet. Alright. Sit back. Relax and enjoy the video. These are the most frequently asked questions. First question. Who are you? My name is Nikita. I am a mangaka, my pseudoname is Deontay. Question number two. Is drawing your main activity? I strive for this. I will leave her Twitter in the description so we can show her the support she deserves for making such a great manga. Question number three. Do you work alone? Yes. Question four. Why do you work alone? I'm just at the beginning of my journey. Question number five. Would you like to find a fitting assistant? I would only burden my assistants with working with backgrounds and screen tones. Question number six. How much effort and time does it take to complete a chapter? In terms of time, the best result is 27 chapters in seven to eight days. She gives example of chapter 12 title reunion, this is where Sasuke meets Sarada after a very long time. This is also the chapter where Kakashi was revealed that he was better than. Question number 7. What tool do you use? Laptop, graphic tablet, clip studio program. Question number 8. What do you want to learn in the near future? I would like to master animation and 3D modeling. Question number 9. How many years have you been drawing? I have been drawing since childhood. But I started taking drawing seriously only recently. Question number 10. What inspired you to paint? Since childhood I like to write stories. Reflect them on paper, including manga format. I folded an A4 paper so that in size it would resemble a manga page. From Eskimo. And without sketches, I immediately started drawing using a black gel pen and other colors. Question number 11. How old are you? 24 years old. Question number 12. Do you have any artistic education? What are the useful things that did you learn from? No, not really. I am trying to replenish the basics of my knowledge myself. I recently have bought a book The Fundamentals of Academic Drawing. Sometimes I open it when I have the time. Question number 13. Name five works that inspired and influenced you as an artist. I'll highlight Berserk by Kintaro Miura. Vagabond by Inoue. Naruto by Kishimoto. Bleach by Tite Kubo and Magic Battle. I read a lot of things and go through a lot more. Each work inspires me on its own way. Question 14. Can you give any sort of advice for aspiring authors? She replied aspiring authors, giving aspiration to aspiring authors. Question number 15. What is the most difficult thing for you when drawing Madara? I can't say that I have a difficulty drawing. I am used to drawing everything myself without using references. But if suddenly I have to draw something that I can't, I will always use the internet. Question 16. What is your favorite moment in Madara? That would be chapter 8. It was there when I put down Kishimoto's pages and let my style runs wild. Chapter 8 is where Madara activates the seal of Indra and Ashura against Ashiki and ends the fight. The visuals are stunning and I will leave the chapter reviews in the description. Question 17. Have you currently planned a plot of Madara to completion? Of course, the plot scheme is formed to the end in arcs. This is actually good news guys because we can now eagerly anticipate a lot of action-packed chapters. Question 18. Is Madara your favorite character? He is one of my favorites. Question 19. When meeting Masashi Kishimoto, what will you tell him? 
I'll thank him for my amazing childhood and ask him to take a picture. Question 20. What other works do you have besides Madara? Everything that could have been before Madara didn't exceed five pages. And was in fact, self-diligence. So this is my professional debut. Thanks to everyone that reads it and continue to follow. Question 21. What are your plans for the future? I won't go into details. I like to keep things interesting. Question 22. Who is your favorite female character in the Naruto Boruto universe and why? I like Sakura and Kagaya. Sakura as a character attracted me from the first days of watching Naruto with her design, color palette and the way she looked with Sasuke. He is also my favorite character. Question 23. What are the things you don't like about Naruto Boruto universe and why? From the author point of view, I can understand any decision Kishimoto makes. But as a fan, sometimes I wish that Naruto was a down-to-earth ninja story where kunai were actually a thing. Also the use of weapons. I did watch some of Boruto just out of curiosity. Question 24. What is your favorite Naruto Boruto moment? There are a lot of moments that I can classify as my favorite, but if I start listing them, maybe I'll forget anyway. I can't say anything about Boruto. Question 25. Besides drawing, what else do you like to do? Amateur athlete. Street lifting and functional athleticism. Question 26. Sarada is there. Himawari is there. Is Boruto also in your universe? This is an alternative universe. Anything the author want to happen here will happen. So guys, we can say that there is maybe a slight possibility for the appearance of Boruto, but for now, I think the main concern will be Madara and the Echiha clans along with the Atsutsuki. Question 27. How many chapters will be there? I don't set limits. I have a voluminous story planned. Again, thanks to Yuri Osipov for this amazing interview. We get to know more about the talented mind behind the wonderful story of Madara Manga. Tell me guys your thoughts about this interview. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content. This has been Blast Art. Have a wonderful day.